Howdy folks and we're back again. This is the first time the car has been jacked up and Ken just went underneath. Ken, how's the underside of the car? So far so good. Better than the 123? Yeah. <laughs> Better than, okay. Well then again, this car is 10 years younger than the 123. You gotta remember that. So we just poured this in to the, uh, to the engine. It's an engine flush. Again, for peace of mind, we don't really know when the uh, engine was last serviced, but uh, let's check that out. Oh, quite bad. Not as bad as the one two three, not as bad as the one one two three, but uh, not good. Definitely some uh, some burning smell as well. Yep, and it tastes burnt. Not as black, not as black, and I'm not being racist, yeah. Not as black as the W one two three's oil. Let's go out into the sun here. Why do I feel like a gynecologist? Forget I said that, okay. Forget I said that. Oh, hello SM four. Oh, definitely not as bad. Definitely not as bad as the one two three. The one two three was like tar, and it tasted like seven day old coffee. But uh, sorry, you know what? If if you don't look back after parking, you bought the wrong car. And I always look back at the SM4. But today we are here. Oh, that's one of my viewers' cars. He he commented on, on my previous video. Beautiful three three O C I came in for some work and a paint job, and it's gonna look fantastic. I can just imagine. So okay, I'm getting a bit sidetracked, but anyway, nice car bro, very nice car. There's, and uh, keeping my Safiro company. Lovely, lovely, cool. So, okay, so uh, I've already spotted some stuff, which, uh, that's the spare tire there. Ken, we're gonna have to patch this up. It's pretty bad. I can see the spare tire already, yeah. and there's a hole there. So yeah, we're gonna patch, patch that up. Maybe put a piece of uh, metal uh, on top there. Yeah, before the spare tire falls through. But uh, yeah, so a lot of work, a lot of work to be done, body work as well, like I said, there's not a single panel, there's not a single panel that doesn't have something to be done. But uh, it was buy and drive, but again, varying levels of buy and drive, yes, I know, I'm going to have to change this as well. The fun is in the hunt, the fun is in the hunt in so far as parts are concerned. So okay, there's, there's the oil coming out, still got some colour to it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's still got some colour to it and uh, not as black tar as the uh, W123, yeah? So some TLC required, but uh, very, very doable. So this is radiator water coming out, which is not too bad. It's quite okay, well, yeah, it's dirty. And it's just plain water, so we're gonna add the uh, Momo Racing coolant, right? Yeah, coolant better. Don't forget, this is a pretty big engine and it's six cylinder. No, it's not a big engine, it's only two liter. But it is a six cylinder. And uh, yeah, you want as optimal cooling as, as possible when it comes to cars like this. Especially for long distance drives. And yes, this car is definitely gonna go for a long distance drive. A quick check on the uh, tires. Uh, it's on 30th week of 2020. Not too bad, still a lot of meat on the tires and uh, these are called Good Grip. Good Grip from probably made in China. Probably made it, yeah. There we go. I don't know how good is the grip. 205 55 ZR16. So maybe I'll take advantage of the Kenzone tire promotion by Goodyear and Kenzone. Might, uh, might just do that. Yeah, buddy? Ah, there we go. So here comes the gearbox oil again. We have no idea when the gearbox oil was changed. Okay, there's still some color to it. That's not too bad. And then later we'll add in the Momo Racing uh, automatic gear, automatic transmission uh, additives, which is this for automatic transmissions. Uh, condition seals, stops leaks, stops slips, and basically a gearbox tuner. Right. So, all the fluids being drained now. What's that, bro? Transmission oil. Ah, transmission oil for from Momo Racing. Fully synthetic transmission oil. Great, nice, very good. And then ah, we're gonna change the uh, rear differential oil as well. And we spotted a little bit of a leak. That this is very different type of oil. Eh? It's thicker, much thicker. And we saw a bit of a leak there as well. So. We're gonna have to get that done. And here we go. Oh, okay. We don't know when that. What do you think, bro? 
quite old already. Yeah. yeah. So again, because this car is rear wheel drive and it has a rear differential, a lot of times people overlook the oil in this. Uh, it looks like honey actually. No good, no good, no good. So Ken, what kind of oil is that? It's not, it's not gearbox oil, right? It's a special oil. Excel oil. Excel oil and uh, the weight is 50. Uh, 140. 140 weight. Yeah, so it's very, very different. Don't, uh, don't simply go and put any oil inside there. You'll tear up your differential. So that gurgling sound you're hearing <coughs> is we've removed the radiator cap. Even from the cap, you can tell it's uh, not very clean. And there's the rest of the uh, radiator water coming out. Sibu, nanti mau flush bukan? Ma, have to flush because look at that, pretty bad. So the oil filter is the same as the Nissan Sunny One Three O Y oil filter. Yeah. Awesome. So you see, where I can, I help low. Alrighty folks, so this is gonna go in next and uh, beyond that, that's pretty much what we're gonna do for today. Nice, thank you Ken and uh, stay tuned folks. Lots more to come for the A31 Nissan Sofero. Yes.